Hello, I'm Xenocow, and today I want to show you something I've been working on for off and on the past few months. They said that cameras were illegal in Starbase, but I made one. Let me show you how it works. It has a panel made up of 625 rangefinders packed as closely as I could possibly manage. It requires 258 YOLAL chips in order to run this program. It's able to descend and ascend the seat so that you can see over the camera. Here's a temporary display so that you can look where all the rangefinders are actually pointing. Let's take a look at a some target first. Let's find something to look at. So again, we can lift up the seat. Maybe one of these asteroids is close enough. There's one right there. Turn on the slow mode so we can actually aim it. And you can see the rangefinders aren't quite reaching far enough, so we can increase their range. We want to make sure we have that ability so that we don't accidentally uh, take a picture of something that we don't want to, that's too far away. So we can limit that range. So we come down here to adjust the view. It's a little bit difficult to see with the sun, but hopefully you can see it well enough. And then we press this big old button, and it gets started. It'll set the focus. So we know the front and back of the object we're trying to take a picture of. Then it will calculate some ranges, turn that image into a encoded version, which is in numbers. And then we're going to decode that from knowing how far each pixel is into pixels that we can then put on the screen here. Takes a bit of time. And here's my favorite part here. Then the image renders, and there you have it. You can see that in the areas that are closer, it is more filled in, and then the areas further, mostly towards the edges of the object, it is pale. Now, it is mirrored, I'm, but I wanted to get this video out before fixing that mirroring issue, just because it's been a very long time since I've been working on this. So let's take a picture of something a little bit more interesting here. Can we turn on the rangefinders? Just adjust our range so we don't accidentally grab some of that station in the background. And again, we can line it up. First with the looking over the camera, and then we can look through what I call the viewfinder, just like a real camera, down here, to better adjust our image. And again, press the big old red button, and then a little while later, there's our image rendered to the screen. Now let's try one more time with a slightly different view so we can get a little bit more detail on the image. Now with this one, it's a little bit hard to see on the right there, but the, this framing of our target is filling up pretty much the entire frame. One thing, unlike a real camera, this has essentially no perspective on what it's looking at. So things that are far away are just as close, look just as close as things that are close. And here we are, there it is. Again, the image is flipped, but that's all right. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you are interested in a full breakdown of how this works and how all the program works. I'm very tempted to make a, a detailed breakdown video of all of that. But in any case, this was Xenocow. Uh, don't forget to unsubscribe and dislike. Anyway, I'm signing off now. See you later.